Less than 50 years ago, this land was lush savanna. But here, as in much of the Sahel, the 5,000 kilometer belt of land that divides the Sahara Desert from the rest of Africa, vegetation has been disappearing. Climate change leading to prolonged periods of drought, land degradation caused by over-farming and over-grazing, as well as deforestation, have turned this once fertile land into desert. But a recent project to plant acacia or gum trees is attempting to reverse that process of desertification. Before the project, the trees that had been here during the time of our ancestors had disappeared. Since we got trees and tolls from the project, it's easier for us to walk the land and put food on the table. Fatou Say is one of 150 women in this village alone, benefiting from a project begun in 2004 by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, or FAO, together with the Forestry Department of Senegal and five other countries across the region. FAO provided seeds and seedlings and taught them how to sow and plant the acacia trees, as well as how to extract and market the gum they produce. Acacia is a, a good choice for the project because it is a native tree, so we are not altering biodiversity. It's a tree which has many benefits. It feeds the soil, so it restores its fertility. It is a shelter for crops. It is also providing gum arabic, which has an international market and good for the economy. It also provides fodder for livestock and also food for uh, also the local communities. The benefits we have received from the project are enormous. People from surrounding villages come here to see what we're doing. We are producing hibiscus juice, peanuts and millet which we sell at the market. With that money, we are investing in the villages to build them in. And now that the acacia trees have reached maturity, the women have also begun extracting and selling the gum for processing. Through a middleman, their gum arrives at this processing plant, close to Senegal's capital, Dakar, from where the gum is sold to Europe, the US and elsewhere. It's a growing industry because of the demand and because of all different uses in pharmaceutical and food industries, such as in confectionery, dairy products and soft drinks. There is a very long list of uses. Based on the success of the Acacia project, FAO is now in search of funding to roll the project out on a wider scale to regreen more of the land bordering the Sahara Desert. If successful, the initiative will keep the desert sands at bay and provide protection for the millions of vulnerable people living within Africa's drylands. For Hungry Planet, I'm Charlotte Windle.